What is up, fight fans around the world? Um, this is Canoxide, I, and uh, I just, like, it's been like four or five, six hours since I've watched the highlights between Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou, and I have to say without a shadow of a doubt, this is just my personal opinion, literally my personal opinion, okay? When I tell you this man, Francis Ngannou, Ngannou, bro. This wholesome man, Francis Ngannou, bro. The night of his life, bro. Literally doing basically what every pro boxer said an MMA fighter could not do. That's beating a boxer in his own fundamental ring. In his own... In his own space. He almost did it. There was one judge. In, there was just one judge in particular. That scored the fight. In my opinion. Like really horribly. Like horrendously scored it. And it was a 96 to 93. In Tyson Fury's favor. When bro literally almost got. Knocked the fuck out. Like when I tell you. This motherfucker Tyson Fury. Now don't get me wrong. I love Tyson Fury. I love Francis Ngannou. I love them both equally. But when I say Ngannou clearly got robbed, it's it's not even close. Like, I've watched boxing for a really long time now, and um, one thing that I can't stand is a robbery. Now, if it is too, if it's too close to, like, you know, if it's too close to call in one person's favor, call it a draw. Let it be a draw and let it... At most, that should have been a draw. At most, it should have been a draw. But instead, the that one judge, he put it at 96 to 93 in Tyson Fury's favor when it should have been more or less 96 to 93 or even a 95 to 94 in Ngannou's favor. But they didn't do that. That one judge, I feel like, shouldn't have been a judge. Because I don't know what fight he was watching. But it wasn't the one I was watching. The one I was watching, Fury, you know, I haven't seen the the punch stats. Like, the you know, the stats between the two fighters. So I don't know who got more, like, actual punches landed. Or who threw more or who landed more I don't know that I don't I haven't seen that yet I don't know if they came out with that yet but I just don't understand how we got a 96 93 in a split decision from one judge and then one judge actually said oh you yeah, didn't got bro you you the goat and then the last one was like 95 94 in Tyson Fury's favor I think I think it's a load of bogus personally I think the wholesome the wholesome guy who came into a boxing ring came out of his comfort zone wanted to prove everybody wrong I feel like I feel like regardless he proved everyone wrong I knew from the I know from I like I knew from this like the start that he was going to prove everybody wrong I knew from the start that he was going to earn the respect that he deserves I mean he he's a wholesome dude he's came from literally nothing he came from nothing from having nothing to something. Um, and he's worked his ass off. I felt like. I really did feel, feel like he deserved. That uh, that win. More than Tyson Fury. I think he had more heart. I think he had more skill on that night. I think he showed. Everyone. I think he showed everyone up. Honestly. I think he. I think he proved a lot of like almost to everybody wrong during that like that night honestly or, or t- last night I think he did amazing personally but beggars can't be choosers and you're not always going to get it your way um I think John Fury and Tommy Fury both fucking know I think Tyson Fury even knows that he lost that fight he may have won the fight but he did not. He 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 didn't he didn't beat he really didn't beat Tyson or he really didn't beat Ngannou. Like I can't even stress that enough. There is no chance that 
when Nganu ap- appeals the fight that it doesn't turn into his favor. I hate when shit happens like that. Because it's like, it happened with Tommy and KSI. That shit was way too close to like, you know, I think KSI is a genius for fighting Tommy how he fought him. Because although he only threw really one, like, one punch the whole time, like he used the same, the same, like the overhand right, really the whole match. But the way he played it, the the holding, the, you know, the holding, a lot, like, whenever you hold a lot, it gives the judges, like, like he knew he's either going to knock Tommy out, or he's going to get knocked out, or it's going to go to the decision. That's literally about as, as good as it goes. So, you know, that's why he was throwing the big overhand right the whole time. And, you know, that's why he, he would mi- mainly throw a cross. Like, he would just, you know, cross, or he would go over with it, you know what I'm saying? So, that's uh, mainly why KSI did that. But, you know, it happened with the Tommy Fury fight versus KSI. Crossover boxing. Same as Tyson Fury fighting an MMA fighter. It's still crossover boxing. uh, But, I think it's crazy how we get two robberies in one year. And both of the robberies were crossover boxing. The only reason Tommy Fury and Tyson Fury won their fights is because they're the boxers and the other people aren't even really considered boxers by the world. And it, like it's crazy how YouTube boxers are considered they're still considered YouTubers when they're doing the same exact thing as actual boxers. And if if anything, I feel like it's more I feel like it's more dangerous to be a YouTube boxer than it is a a regular boxer because like a professional boxer, you know what I'm saying? I think it's more, I think it's more like dangerous because they aren't as experienced as professional boxers. So what happens if somebody, a, a YouTube boxer who has had at least six fights gets into the ring with somebody who has like one or like none at all? chances are the person who has six fights over the person who has zero and zero boxing experience, they're going to get knocked out and could possibly die. Like, could possibly die. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe like, you know, it could go both sides. Yeah, some, like, there's been professional boxers in the past who have died, but the, the difference between the two is one knows what they're doing and the other doesn't really quite know at all what they're doing a lot of youtube boxers when they get into the ring i feel like they're they're looking to really fuck their opponent up go for the knockout potentially kill their opponent they're they're like they're all they're looking for like hollow hall of fame highlight knockouts you know what i'm saying they're not really looking to win the fight by decision or get like a like an all right knockdown knockout you know what i'm saying like they're not looking to knock their opponent down three times and get the knockout that way like, they're looking to just one punch over the fucking top, just crazy fucking knockout, gone. Just the person's dead, you know? They're they're on the floor, they're looking at the, ca- they're looking face down on the canvas, fucking dead, like, like that motherfucker Tyrone Woodley versus whenever Jake Paul knocked him out. I still don't know if he actually knocked him out, I honestly don't, I, I can't remember. I think Jake Paul is a real boxer now, but back then, I, st- I still have a lot of, uh, I still question a lot because I, I don't know. It makes no sense how a YouTuber can get somebody who came from fucking Disney Channel, went to YouTube, had both at the same time at one point, comes from fighting Deji and barely winning, might I add. I feel like that was a. I feel like if that went to decision, if that fight went to decision and Jake Paul won it, right? That would have been a robbery. And I'm just being dead serious. But I can't remember if the towel was thrown thrown in or if uh, Jake just stopped Deji. Uh, but or like the ref waved it off, you know? I don't I can't remember. But either way, I think Tyson Fury versus Nganu was a robbery. I think Nganu wins that easily, without a shadow of a doubt. Tyson or, or Tommy Fury versus KSI though. 
that was a really closely sided affair. I feel like that could have probably went to a draw, but they didn't do it that way. They just gave Tommy Fury the win because why not? Um, regardless, I think... <laughs> I think that probably was a robbery too, honestly. Mm. I really don't know what's going on with the um, the Furies. I don't know how uh, they keep winning when it's it doesn't it doesn't add up. If you know what I'm saying, I really don't like Tyson Fury versus Ngannou is like a perfect example of boxing just being very like weird when it comes to decisions in mma at least they have very good decision making like like if it's some if it's really close they'll they'll make it a draw if it's like like very little like say one fighter did just a little bit more than another than the other you know they win in fucking boxing it's like Oh, and Ganu gets the knockdown. Tyson Fury barely gets more fucking punches off than him. Like, very, very, very little more punches land than Nganu. Oh, Nganu wins. Or, and not Nganu, but fucking Fury, bro. I don't know. Say what you want. I'm not sitting here complaining. I'm not trying to complain. I'm just trying to get how I feel out because, like I said, everybody's opinion matters. Everybody's opinion matters unless it is extremely incorrect. And I feel like if people genuinely think Tyson won that fight last night against Nganu, then maybe rewatch it, maybe analyze it a little bit more, and then give your final thoughts. Because at the end of the day, they're both boxers that night they're both fighters they're both warriors they both put their fucking heart out, heart out on the line and one got broke and one prospered you know and at the end of the day I feel like Tyson Fury <laughs> knew that Tommy Fury versus KSI was a robbery and he knows deep down that his fight with Nganu was a robbery. He knows. And the thing is, he's a champion. He's the champion. So why wouldn't he win against an MMA fighter who's in his first professional bout? I mean, come on now. At the end of the day, these are theories. Not actual, not actually reality. But I just genuinely think Nganu won that fight. Um, But... I don't know. That's all I wanted to say. Um, I don't know what's going on with boxing right now. It's not like a lot of the fights aren't adding up. Um, I think they need to, you know, analyze. I think I think referees, or not referees, but judges, really need to start paying attention to the fight because a lot of the time they, they are making stupid decisions with when it comes to boxing. MMA though, like the the judges in in MMA, I swear they're like they're some of the times in MMA it's always the doctors, bro. It's always the doctors doing stupid stoppages and shit like that. But in in boxing, it's always the fucking judges, bro. It's always the judges making stupid decisions, like you know, at, like the scorecards never add up. I swear it feels like that. But regardless, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you agree with me. If you don't, you know, we can talk about it in the comment section down below. But at the end of the day, this is just my personal opinion on, you know, the two boxing fights that happened in the past, like, three weeks. Um, and I don't even know, like, I really don't even know what to think anymore about boxing. I, lo I love the sport. I love... I love fighting all around. I love every martial art. I love everything about, like, fighting and all that. But at the end of the day, I just wish it would be a little bit more fair and a little bit more uh, reasonable and understanding. Because a lot of the time, it's never understanding. 
It's like it's very hard to understand why the judges make their decisions, why they score the cards the way they score them. And I think sometimes it's just stupid. I think they need to recheck their or reanalyze the fight, re like rewatch it for a second time and then give their decision, you know, their scorecards. But um if that's even possible, I think that's how they do an appeal, but I don't know personally. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the video. Um, that's all I got to say. If y'all enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, uh, you know, subscribe for more content and turn that notification bell on to get notified when I post another video. And as always, uh, it's been your boy can oxide and I'm going to get the fuck out of here because I'm tired. And I want to play Skyrim, so, yeah. Bye. And just like that, you know, your boy clicks the record button. That way it stops recording. Because it's already recording. And it just, it just all of a sudden says, nope, nuh-uh, didn't click me. Alright, yeah, but, see ya.